Here from Jacksonville, Florida. I got a little spot sticking up my head. And we're uh, a whole day early. It's awesome. So, it was UPS. See you later. Uh, pulled right up here today, and a guy walked out right by that Warner truck. He's like, come here. And I said, hey. He's like, you got uh, paper rolls? I said, yep. Hope everyone is safe. You too, uh, Fila. Ryan, how you doing, man? Hi, babe. Hi, Just Trucking Wife. Thanks for coming in here. Got some, uh, I don't know what they're doing up here. But there's two guys in that little cage. It's just like they're trying to get that top piece off. Andy Walsh, DC Compton, what's going on? What's up, Jason Bagwell? What's up, Joe? Say, say what? Roberts, what's going on? Pablo, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know if they're trying to take that thing off or what. Chris A, Miguel. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're doing something though. Scott Kim, what's going on? Nick, what's happening, man? Or Bobby Kim. I'm just leaning against a tree waiting to get unloaded, but super nice guy. Jeffrey, Miles, what up? Tom Williamson. Uh, Mike Caldwell, what's going on? Wolfman, how you doing, brother? Dustin Williams, how you doing, brother? Uh, the reason I took this load, it was a good rate. It was $15.50 down in Jacksonville, plus uh, all of their reviews said that they're really quick and they do unload you early. So I came straight here and they're unloading. Stan, what's going on, man? I heard it was snowing earlier in uh, Greenville, Stan. Pablo, I'm in Jacksonville, man. Ty Lewis, what's going on? Utah, there you go. It's, it's, it's cold up there, man. I see the snow. I see I-80 and all the jackknives, man. Cheese and peas for everybody out there, especially if you don't have any heat. So get a green APU. What's up, Omer? It's trying to stay warm. It's 60 degrees out here. It's not cold in, in Jacksonville. What's up, brother? McKinney, Virginia, what's up, man? What's up, Will Burner? How you doing, brother? Mary uh, Christian from Canada. What's up, Steve? Daniel, what's going on, brother? Rookie Trucker. I sent you an email with RMT and Trucking Wife. All right, Rookie Trucker, I'll check it out, man. Bob B, what's going on? Dead Dog, how you doing, brother? Thanks for the super chat, man. Montreal. 39 degrees is not bad. It's not too bad up there. Central Texas is cold. What's up, Tia? What's up, Queen? Stan, you haven't seen anything? T-Dubs is lying to me then. She said it was snowing in Greenville. Negative two in Minnesota, man. Clayton, we're down here in uh, Jacksonville, just south of like the loop. About to head home. There you go, Daniel. Good afternoon. What's up, dead dog? Just try, just try to do CPS going on, man. Philip, uh, we are, Philip. Hope you are too, man. Hope you're going to have a great Christmas. I have to be an elf pretty soon. Hopefully, the, uh, I have to be, uh, what's it called? Is it Buddy the Elf? Not Buddy the Elf. I have to put that up in my truck too. I have like an inflatable Buddy the Elf. I keep forgetting to put him up. I'm going to try and do that. West side of Washington State, 10 inches of snow, man. There's some snowboarders gonna come your way. It's Queen, you're in Iowa, there you go. How do you get those crazy emojis? That's cool, dead dog. Back north, there you go. Traveling with the bells, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah, Clayton, I'm gonna try and go back up to uh, Savannah tonight, probably. Uh, Mike Miller, what's going on? I was wondering where the elf was. I know, it's in my, so there's a closet on the, driver's side where my inverter's at i never really open it unless i turn the inverter on and off but above it there's like a little shelf that's where he's at so i gotta grab him <laughs> i gotta grab him and put him up oh sorry i lost the comments no snow in central florida no no snow we're we're good you're welcome philip hope you're doing good man uh you need a christmas wreath yeah i do t-dubs we need a christmas wreath it's, uh amazon that steve martin what's going on <clears throat> Big Fuzzy Gaming, how you going on? You got those crazy emojis too. 70 degrees in Cali, there you go. This guy's probably gonna come out pretty soon, but once he's done unloading, we're, we're out of here. They're, they're part of the emoji set now in chat instead of just having your, oh really? I didn't, I don't know what those are. Gotta look those up. Mac, what's going on? There you go, Mustang, little 5.0. Katie is, oh, the new Katie, uh, Queen. I don't know if you have Katie's direct uh, email or, or text. Get Katie's phone number. She'll send you pictures of the dog uh, or the cat continuously. She got him like a little cot that somehow hangs from the window, and he's laying in that today. F.A., what's going on, man? Tip your host. Fuel for the K-Dub. Yes, man. I can't believe, thanks to DIY Semi, it was only 700 bucks to fill the thing up. It didn't fill it up all the way. but um, And then I called, or I talked to Mudflap, and I said, is there like an $800 limit? They said, there's no limit. So that must have been the limit from the uh, truck stop I was at. So, Casper's great. Gave him a bath. Oh, he got a bath finally. There you go. Need to get some more of my videos up on my page. There you go. Aletha, what's going on, Fi? 
Savannah Market. Yeah, TS. That's what I'm. I'm looking at that man. Um, I was looking at the loads from here. There's like a seven hundred dollar load that actually could pick up today that goes to Fletcher, North Carolina, which is like just above my house, kind of below Asheville. Um, but it's six hundred or seven six hundred eighty dollars. Uh, it's dollar fifty a mile, and it's heavy. So I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see what we can do. I offered eleven fifty on it. Lauren, what's going on, Tedford? We're doing great. Snowed in Huntington Beach. What? No way. There's no way it snowed in Huntington Beach. Did it really? Plus a six. Are you Jess? Are you are you uh, pulling our our Joe and uh, I can't read the rest of your thing, but thanks so much for that super chat. Goal. That was pretty cool to see Messi win the uh, World Cup with Argentina. That was a cool game. Went down to penalty kicks. Get out and look. There you go. Get out and look. Goal. So this place makes like envelopes and we have like um, brown paper rolls, but they're not tall. They're three feet tall, about three feet wide. I use Splice to edit my videos. Everyone's using these new emojis. I want to get these things. Steve, uh, I use Splice. It's uh, in the app store. It's like 60 bucks a year. 15 inches expected in Northern Indiana. What? Harold, we're doing good, man. Hope you are too. Big fuzzy game man. single digits, man. Sunny to Maldives. There you go, Finn. Wish we were all with you. Mike Caldwell's using <laughs> these emojis are funny. It's like Kirby. My youngest son likes to. There you go, T Dubs. What is that? Two hearts? I don't get that. Is that a bathing suit? What is that? You guys got all the emojis. You got. We're dabbing right there on JoJo. Man, now everyone's doing it. <laughs> Daniel's got the mummy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I need to get these things. I'm jealous now. My Katie Bear. Everyone's using it. Look at this guy. Dead Dog's got. Hand in the eyeballs, sunglasses, a goat. Okay, we're we're gonna we're going crazy with the emojis now. Philip, what's going on? I learned editing on Final Cut. Yeah, there's a lot of good apps out there. That's just one. What happened is uh, I was always using Apple um, Video. What was it called? Apple Movie Maker. I don't know what it's called anymore. But they started not jiving with YouTube. So <laughs> every time I'd upload a video, it was like fuzzy or messed up sound. So then I got the splice and it worked again. So. Uh, what should I kill them with an emoji train? Blow his mind. <laughs> double T, what's going on? Uh, the one I'm looking at, uh, Double T, is $6,500 up in um, Georgia. But it's older trailer, but doesn't have the air system, but it has oiled hubs. Keep it up with Jones, what's going on? Yeah, iMovie. Um, oiled hubs, it has composite sides, it has aluminum roof, it has no holes, and it has a uh, wood floor, so... Who knows? It says it does need doors. It says the doors are getting weak on the bottom. But I'm pretty sure Southeast Trailer Mart can take care of that for me. You too, Harold. iMovie is Apple. That's it. There you go. Internet working okay? Ours is working just fine. Uh, the new router. Uh, the biggest problem I was having is I have a couple cameras that are pretty far away from the house. Um, for different entry points to the, to the neighborhood and to the backyard. And one of them wasn't always connected. It was like 50-50. And now with the new router, it's perfect. So I was trying to get a full uh, full view of the house. Tia, we are. We, uh, I don't know who's watching right now, so I can't really talk about it. But uh, we are ready. We just have a lot of work to do uh, until that 25th. Word is back to normal. Are you planning on adding drivers? Pablo, that's what I was thinking about. That's why I'm going to start buying trailers. I'm going to start buying these good old dry vans. Hopefully get three of them. Uh, or four of them. So I always want to have one extra one, one spare for stuff that just happened with mine, with the hubs. Um, but yeah, if I get three more trailers, then I'll feel good about probably bringing on two guys, but you just bring your own truck to me. I'll teach you dispatching. I'll teach you my lanes, which I'm pretty sure you've already learned from my videos, but <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, I do all the wrapping. Yes, but I do T-dubs. I do all the wrenching. So when you buy these things that have to be put together, like uh, uh, babe, who's watching? Are those people, are those little minions next to you? Or are they uh, outside playing? What are those people doing? What small people you have? Tony, what's going on? Cody, what's going on? Alabama. Chris. <laughs> Fair enough, Justin. There you go. They're always watching. That's what I'm saying. Well, sometimes they're not right by mom. And who knows if mom's watching on her phone or if she's got me on the TV. Now, Bill, what's going on? Will you ever bring one of your sons with you in Long Island? I do, Robert. Um, they aren't watching. Okay, so Tito's bought like one of those. My sons are infatuated with the put a quarter in or put a dollar in now, and you get the little claw that goes down and grabs stuff, brings it over. Tito's bought one of those, and on it, it says two and a half uh, hours to assemble. So that'll be me, hopefully with a beer or something on, 
well, Buddy the Elf will be me on Christmas Eve. Putting that together, along with Middle Son is getting something that needs to be put together. Little Son is getting something that needs to be put together. And Big Son is just getting something that he can open out of the box, but probably has to be set up. What's up, Moore? How you doing, man? Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> Virginia, what's up, SVWA? You do all, yeah, I do do all the putting together, but T-Dubs does wrap a mean presents. You wrap them nice and pretty. It's plastic. Yeah, but still, babe, it's probably going to have all these different gears and things I got to put together in a joist. Oh, man. It's going to be a it's gonna be a long one. Jacksonville, 1956. There you go. There you go, Norman. I, oh, you used to live. Okay. You're in, where are you at now? Silvio, good luck and have fun. Thank you, man. You guys, too. Belts pull. Yeah, I'm Lauren. I'm, I don't know. Uh, it says on the box like two and a half hours. So hopefully with my uh, mechanical mind a little bit, I'll be I'll be able to cut that time down. Maybe I'll call Stan over. Uh, maybe I'll entice him with some eggnog or something. I don't know. <laughs> Stan's very very mechanical like me. <laughs> Wheel burn. I'll put anything together. Thank God my kids are adults. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Uh, to be fair, I wanted you to ask before the purchase. Yes, you did ask me in the Target aisle. Can I buy this for for them? I know how much Casey, my middle son, loves those things, so of course I'm going to say yes, but the two and a half hour assembly time is going to be great. Great more uh, early, early even. Michael Gray, what's going on? Apple AirPods Pros for the daughter. Yes. And then T-Dub's had a great idea, guys. Um, I don't know how much the GoFundMe is for David right now, but we're going to go live when we send it to him and, and try to get him somehow, because YouTube now lets you bring people into a live. I don't know how to do that right now. On my little screen right here, I'm not seeing what i would push to do that let me look at some stuff right now uh yeah it just says mute microphone save highlight i don't see anything that lets me bring people in so i'll have to watch a tutorial on that i'll come from north carolina there you go daniel uh it's like 1200 ish there you go that's awesome it's going to help david out a lot for his expenses to get back home and he's still deciding if he's going to drop another motor in that truck or what he's going to do to that truck but uh, we'll go ahead and send it to him live so you guys can all see that your money was well well sent to somebody who in need for the holiday and are those guys still up there? No, they're back down. I don't know what they were doing. They left that thing up there. Like, they didn't... There's just wires hanging from it. But whatever. Whatever. Vlogmas next year. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we'll have a little... Uh, we did a live stream, I think, last year for Christmas morning. I might put the camera up again so you guys can watch what it was like when we were young. I know we all remember when we were kids and Christmas was, was pretty special in the morning. And, and the age that they're at right now... Cash is getting, <clears throat> Cash isn't not a believer anymore, but he's he's getting a little, little wise of the game, and so Kaysen's a wise person. Kaysen is, uh oh, I think we're Warren family. What's going on? Shut down Thursday. Till after, oh man, freezing blizzard. Ninety percent of America and part of Mexico. Dang, I think Google what a, a vlogmas is. <laughs> Bullhead City. What's going on, Francis? What's up? I'm Tia. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know about a vlogmas. We'll see. But it's sound. Oh no, he was just getting propane okay i thought he was i thought it was my trailer being unlocked looks like the uh so if you ever see the guys grabbing propane like that that means the golf cart or not the golf cart the forklift ran out <clears throat> old school camcorders my parents recording chris there you go i caught you live there you go phil Blee. dead dog fire hot <laughs> man it's crazy out here give him something really good to watch the kids, yeah, I might just, we won't be talking. We won't be interacting with you because we'll be in the moment, but I might throw the camera in the corner and you guys can kind of tune in and see what they got, all that kind of stuff. Past 30 years, there you go, Norman. Houston, Texas. Reno's 59 mobile. I don't know what that means. Jeffrey Bingham. There's a website called StreamYard. Yeah, I, I just don't, with StreamYard, you can't like control your uh, moderators and stuff with it. I've, I've seen people use it. So, but YouTube did send me a thing saying that you can now like live stream with other people. I don't know if you have to be on like a desktop to do that though. Maybe it's not allowed on your phone or maybe it's a setting before I start it. I don't know. So I haven't looked into it that much. Where am I now? I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, right below. I'm off 95, like a mile over on Phillips Road or whatever that is. But I'm a paper envelope place. Hit the like button. There you go. Jordan Keller, what's going on? Yeah, Jordan, there's a new video. Pretty good. I give you a little bit of maintenance on a trailer. Something that I didn't think about when I first bought my trailer or ever thought about till about two years ago. And uh, so that'll be on there. And then well, I forget what else was good today. The pickup was kind of good. It was another hairpin turn. <clears throat> a little bit of content there. 
Oh, and they also told me that I didn't have a load this morning. That, that freaked me out. And then uh, the other person uh, came back and said, no, 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 remember we rescheduled that? And he's like, oh, yeah, I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Merry Christmas to you and the family. There you go. Recording all month long. There you go. Welcome to Jack's. Thanks, Music Mangled. I like it down here. Um, we've never really visited the beaches in Jacksonville. We've always gone like Daytona or further down. And we were thinking about doing a whole family trip with everybody, but we didn't. Got my first load last week. There you go. There you go. Nabil, congrats, man. Stick to the whole uh, negotiation. No, help us out. Help us all get better rates. Knowing there's money in there uh, for everybody. How accurate is your meter? Uh, very accurate. It's, it's thermal. Well, the reason I got that thing was um, when I did powder coating. When I had my powder coating equipment, I would powder coat the grills that I made. You'd have to check the temperature on the metal and make sure it got to 400 degrees everywhere. And then after 10 minutes, like it would cool down. But that's what it was. What's up, T-Dubs? You too, Dwight. Double T, it's uh, just truck and wife at Gmail. But yeah, those things are really good. They're like $25 at Harbor Freight. I think I actually have an extra one in the truck, so if you ever see me around and you want one, just let me know. Remember, remember, remind me it's in the bottom drawer on the driver's side. Sean, I'm gonna try, man. We're looking uh, from here today, it's four o'clock, 4.30 now. He's almost done, I'm sure, once he gets that uh, forklift going again. And then I'm gonna head back towards like the north side of Jacksonville. Maybe I'll just stay here though, because it's five o'clock almost. I'll stay here till traffic subsides and I'll just keep looking for loads. Because I don't think nothing out of, um... Savannah's not a late in the day shipper, if that makes sense to you, you guys that run her truck. Um, they will like three o'clock, four o'clock, that's it. You don't see any late loads really out of Savannah. Everybody kind of goes home. Sometimes in Florida, you'll see late ones like the water loads out of, um, Central Florida or North Florida, but Savannah, you don't really see that. You'll see that out of Columbia. You'll see it where I live sometimes in uh, Greenville, but not, um, not in Savannah. I'm picking up in West Virginia, headed home to Bristol. There you go. I'm gonna get one for my truck. Hey, yeah, it's, I mean, I never, you guys know this, a lot of you guys that are driving, we kind of never thought about the trailer, never thought about the hubs. Like you thought about it for them leaking, but you didn't think about a bearing exploding and all that other stuff that could happen. So um, and now I'm a firm believer in it because it happened to me twice. Uh, Ty, Tyrez, we're going to, it's called Matt's Mid-America Truck Show. It's in Louisville, Kentucky, I think end of March. Um, that'll be one of probably many we go to this next year. I'm praying 2023 is better than 2022 because 2022 started out good and went pretty far down. So hopefully it gets better. Oh, answering your question about Vlogmas. Beast of Logan, what's going on, man? That low star is looking good, dude. I definitely watch your videos. Safe and warm, wonderful Christmas. You too, you too, Queen. John Jones, Merry Christmas. Not Merry, but Merry Christmas. There you go. We are across the street from a racetrack. I'll ask him if I can stay here. He might let me. There's like, it's not a lot of parking here. You have like a driveway, you got the racetrack, and then 95 is like right there. Merry Christmas from Sweden. What's going on? Christopher, how you doing? Live in South Carolina, close to Justin. I'm looking for a job. This night not the best way to about it, but I'm trying my best. Uh, Pablo, get on the uh, Just Trucking Family, man. Get on Just Trucking Family on Facebook. That is a great resource. Uh, it's uh, invites. You got to be approved, but tell Megan Hopper. She's our main moderator on it. Um, twice a year, same year on Brand Bearings. Yeah, Henry G, and it's both the driver's side, so who knows? Uh, be slogan, of course, man. Yeah, after the latest video, you, they're, they're very important, man. I can't believe we caught it when we did. $4,000 later. So we spent $7,000 on that trailer this year, over $7,000, and we bought it for $19,000. So, yeah, definitely need to do some maintenance on those things. But now we have brand new bearings all the way around, brand new tires on the front axle, rear tires are all good, and brand new brakes all the way around. So all new brand, br brake chambers within the last two years, two brand new ones and two, two years ago. Tell them about giveaway. Yeah, T-Dubs is going to do like, um, in my videos, I'm going to start putting like an intro with T-Dubs and an outro. I'll, I'll switch it up. You won't always see the same one. But um, the giveaway, she'll she'll talk about it soon enough. Um, but the boys are all sick right now. Not all of them. Kaysen's okay. He just has a little exit problem. <laughs> but Cash is uh, having a, a throw-up problem. They're all sick from school or from whatever. And Kylan's running a little fever. So <clears throat> T-Dubs has a full house right now of sick babies. So 
Always show the best. What's up, Jesse? How you doing? Um, and then Merry Christmas, Robert. Bearing nuts, reverse threaded on the left. No, they're not. So that's why people uh, typically don't think it's going to come off on the driver's side because it's going against the, the rotation. Uh, Barry's looking good on tractor. Yes, I do hit those every time I walk back, and the, it's always 80, 90 degrees. Um, and there's no, you're really not going to see the bearings in there. Um, that axle runs all the way into the to the pumpkin, but you're going to see leaking if you ever have a problem. Make to leave a like. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, are you guys going to live on a Saturday? Yeah, we might. Saturday Night Live before Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve. That'll be Christmas Eve, guys. So I might be live putting together my elf stuff that I'm doing. Um, I think T-Dub just commented. I didn't see it. I was going to clean out the closet, but I've been cuddling and taking care of six babies. It's okay, babe. Take care of those babies. Hopefully they're better before that. What is it? How many days from now? Five days from now. And St. Nick comes. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, they're, they're going to be all right. They're just little something something from school or wherever it came from so forget where i was getting at with that but yeah the uh, giveaway will be a 500 dollars visa paid prepaid gift card courtesy of safetyautoprep.com um good old Bo and crystal donated that so that's awesome and we'll be doing that probably end of january middle of february depending on how much uh people we get signed up we'd like to have at least a thousand two thousand people signed up um it just helps to bring all of us together and kind of make us have something to, to look forward to uh someone again because it's cool you just hit a little computer system and it, you have to be in the chat and have to be a subscriber for more than 30 days and you'll you'll get the 500 bucks that's pretty cool i bought that tip gauge for christmas there you go <laughs> good christmas present you rock t-dubs i need to go shopping for christmas eve yeah so t-dubs is a big christmas uh giver to her babies so they've never had enough stuff so we still need stocking stuff or she says we, they have more presents than they could need um, and I think what we're going to do, um, our local church we go to, they have like a daycare center that Tank likes to play in, but they don't have, a, they have a lot of toys, but not like a lot of toys. So all of our old toys, or not old toys, but toys that they don't use as much, might just donate all that to the, to the child care place for our church we go to. Home buyers inspections. What's going on? How you doing, man? Thanks a lot. What is your biggest difference between your trailer and trailers with split, split axles? So Christopher, split axles are more, I want to say, I don't know a lot about them, but I want to say more flatbed distribute the weight that way but you can't slide those they're fixed so these are slidable so you can adjust for the weight that's the only thing i can tell you about that double t just truck and wife at uh, gmail just truck and wife at gmail that is your email dead dog and everyone's saying how to beast spoil the babies yeah and what what it means a lot to them so yeah we're definitely spoiling them uh they've been spoiled every year uh, Kaysen's getting a pretty cool, Kaysen's my adventurous outdoors, very athletic son. Uh, Cash is very athletic, but he's more reserved. I I'll throw a ball at Cash, and if he's into it, and if he wants to play baseball, he's knocking them all down wherever he wants. So he's got my athletic uh, coordination, I guess, but he's not really interested in it. So he didn't even want to play baseball last year, and then he saw that Kaysen was getting ready to do it. He's like, I want to play. So we're like, all right, let's sign you up real quick. <laughs> uh, getting the blue link weight set up. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, uh, Beast of Logan, but probably good if it can give you your, your temperatures or whatever, your uh, your weights. Towing RV, campers, and boats, not a bad job. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, buy the air temp gates, but utility prices have doubled. Yeah, we were talking about that. Like our, uh, our property on the lake, we don't even go there. <laughs> and the heaters turned to like... Uh, 50 60 degrees and we still had like a 112 dollar power bill but i do go there a little bit and like work on the car had lights on the garage charge the golf cart that kind of stuff i slept there maybe three times last month um but our electric bill at our house was like 200 and t-dubs and it was like 250. um so that's kind of that's a little bit high for the winter because we use a furnace it's gas so it's all good but yeah all of our utilities have gone up too so everything's just more expensive the one Nick had on his airlines to measure the axles. Okay, yeah, I don't, I didn't know. I'm sad to see Nick's truck go, but I'm sure he's on to bigger and better things. We were checking, pull a trailer. I put my application in. There you go. <laughs> uh, unload every once a time a truck. Merry Christmas, Joe, and say thanks a lot, man. We really appreciate that. Like this kind of stuff right here makes my life so much easier. I wish more work ethic was involved with some of the shippers and receivers to to move the supply chain along like they have a huge part in this more than 
we have traffic to deal with accidents weather we want to i wish there would be more inviting and, and nice when you came to the shippers and receivers and just get it off your truck get it on your truck get it off your truck but there seems to be this like ongoing battle david merry christmas from hawaii like the the truckers and the <laughs> shippers and receivers sometimes don't get along with each other elf on a shelf can we get chuck in a truck there you go <laughs> tony ringo what's oh ringtail what's up man you too 712 for 104 of gallons of heat no dang nicholas <sighs> merry christmas thanks a lot swagon how you doing norway haven't seen you in a while uh also but great to see you merry christmas oh thanks for being such a long subscriber you've been in here since day one michigan brian fox what's going on trucker jay what's happening man question average miles per gallon right now we're getting 6.9 but i run 62 miles an hour um and we've been taking a lot more heavy loads we were in the low sevens for a while okay turn off the water heater sean that makes sense maybe i should do that because that water is hot so i'm gonna have to find out where the water heater is it's probably in a crawl space because i do not see it anywhere in the small house um it's not in the laundry room it's not in the uh, back bedroom so it's got to be in the crawl space or somewhere else we spent 1300 on brakes and drums man that's, and if you look at how easy those brakes are to change guys if you have the tools the brakes on these trucks once you, once you get the tires off those drums you hit them with a hammer pull the drums off after you release the brakes <clears throat> and then it's simply like two clips but they're big springs so you have to have like pliers to get them off and a couple of little uh guides and they slap on each other two of them one on the bottom one on top put the drum back on your brakes are changed and the, the pads are like 40 bucks i think and the drum is i think like 110 120 so you spend 1300 bucks you're spending that on labor the parts themselves are 300 bucks um at, at, at best i uh, just throw the breaker there you go you're smarter than me you guys are always thinking always thinking i actually had the hot tub go out uh, i thought it was something with the wiring or something that was because it rained a lot and what happened is the gfi actually let, uh, let go and those gfis for a 50 amp double 50 amp gfi if you don't know gfi is it's that thing in your bathroom where you won't get shocked to death and die it'll break the it'll trip the breaker even more than it typically would but uh that broke <laughs> so it was 120 bucks for a new one of those i'm like man so i kept the receipt kept the box i did not think that breaker would go out but now the hot tub works again for t-dubs talking with t-bone how you doing brother you too man happy holidays brother i love that drumming video did man check out trucking with t-bone's channel guys he runs up there in the midwest but yeah i'll definitely hit the breaker I, I don't think about stuff like that i try to like find the actual water heater but i'll just hit the breaker there you go power off ground fault interrupt yeah so chuck you gray that's uh i thought because every time i would click it back on i turned it off i drained the water out to sw switch it out i tried to kick it back on when I filled it again, it would just like click, click, and I, I it would make a clicky noise at the hot tub, and I was like, hmm, thought something might be tripping or something like that, or the wires are, something's touching, so I took the whole panel off the GFI panel, looked at all those wires, took off the whole panel at the main and looked at all those wires, and everything was fine. I was like, okay, what's going on? And I just left it be for a while, and then my neighbor's like, hey, man, my lake house, uh, he has a nice lake house with a dock that he put water or uh, electric all out to his dock, and he put like another uh, whole lights and stuff. And he's like, we couldn't figure it out, man. We were losing half the outlets all the time. And what was going on? And it ended up being a GFI uh, outlet. That one little of those like interrupted the whole left side of the dock. And he's like, we replaced that and never had a problem again. It's like, man, let me think about that. So I bought one and it fixed it. Has the water level come up in the lake house? Yes, Beast of Logan. Our dock is finally uh, halfway out of the water. <laughs> so we can at least get our boat to it now again. Uh, it was way down there. It was like 15 feet off the dock. And now it's back uh, right there touching the dock half the dock's out of the water so our neighbor to the left his dock's half out of the water too so it's coming up but man more rain we need more rain merry christmas bill hill you too man ever need to find a hot water heater usually installed in the main closet behind a fake wall okay okay i didn't know there's a fake wall in the main closet i'm gonna look thank you a lot so i'm learning stuff from all you guys that's why i love youtube you guys are a blessing you taught me about heat pumps you teach me a lot of stuff about these trucks and it's just a great source of information if you use it right. Angry Yank, what's going on, man? What's Wyoming looking like? Is Freddie in here? Oh, Freddie, Freddie, uh, t dubs finally sent your stuff out. 10-4. Dennis, what's going on? I don't know if we're done yet. I'm thinking he would come out. He's probably like, where's this guy at? <laughs> uh, did you guys see him behind me? I didn't see him. Super nice guy, though. He's like, get in the door, too. Like, All right, cool, man. Cold again. Yeah, it's uh, 60 degrees here. I'm wearing a hoodie and... Uh, no, he's still moving. I can hear it. 
truck's still moving. Uh, beanie, but it is 60 degrees down here. Small things can halt everything, yeah. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to get a GFI because those babies, you know, uh, if T-Dubs and I fry in the hot tub, maybe it's our way to go out, but I'm joking. <laughs> you got to have one if you have that much water and that uh, 240 volts going back there. So, Richmond, Virginia, what's going on? Brandon Best and uh, Tom, what was your last name, Tom? Tom Holt. Can't remember your last name. Um, in today's video, man, you, did, wish, you asked me to do a shout out to your grandson. I did it in today's video. So if you watch this live feed or that video, uh, I did say hi to Carter in this video today. So thanks for sending me that little message. And uh, I'm glad he, he loves watching me and my sons. So I appreciate it, man. Uh, Jeffrey, yeah, we're right here south of Jacksonville. Like I'm off the 95, but I'm um, to the west of 95 at Mac Papered Envelopes. But we won't be here very much longer. Swag and five, negative five and little snow here in Norway, man. North Jersey, what's going on, Rich? From down under Queens Island, what's going on, Dennis? Did you get uh, back all night yet? So I didn't know, Henry, if I was gonna be unloaded today. So kind of put a couple of emails out, but I didn't want to like go hard. So after this is off, after I get off with you guys, negative 12 in Minnesota, wow. Um, I'll start looking harder. There are loads tomorrow, but it's like $700 to go up to Asheville. And it's heavy. Yeah, he says it's cold. It's not, I said it's not cold here, T-Bone. <laughs> it was cold. It was like 45 coming down to 95 today. Uh, I got down to like uh, high 30s last night, so it's not as cold as you guys. No, not at all. It's 60 degrees and I'm wearing a hoodie, but I shouldn't be. So I'm not hot, but I'm not cold. You know, if the water heaters, uh, William, the, the, there's no gas at that um, lake house. It's all electric, so it's got to be electric. What's your next stop? Tony, I don't know. I'll probably stay here until after traffic uh, or maybe go. I don't know if there's food up there or some like an Applebee's or somewhere I can eat at or I don't know where I'd eat at. But um, Diesel, what's going on, man? How you doing out there in Australia? How's the baby doing? But uh, I'll stay down here until traffic. Then I'll probably get back to Savannah. I still have like seven and a half hours of drive time on my uh, clock. So, or seven and a half total hours. Merry Christmas, Ronnie. There you go. I had to contact my utility provider as they were supplying over voltage. Yeah, and that's another thing, Phil. Like, we got a bill that's, I guess, a one time annual thing for two posts. Like, um, there's a, like a light pole in the middle of our property out there. There's another light pole right by our, we have like an automatic security gate that does not have power. And they charge us for both of them, but I don't think that other one got turned on. So, Oh, good, May. Did you get my email? I did not, Diesel. I'll ask T-Dubs um, if she got your email, buddy. I haven't seen, but she's behind a little bit. We got sick babies at home, man. So we got, uh, Kaysen's kind of having an out problem. Cash is having a, a, a throw up problem and Kai has a fever. So they all got a little bit of a sickness. Uh, but I think Kai started it. So I don't know where he got it from. But uh, well, there's a couple of nice Evos. You guys can probably hear them. Oh, I love an Evo, like an old uh, Evo 9 MR. RMT. Okay, if you send it, uh, Diesel, I didn't get it. Send it again right now, man, because I, I delete my emails as I go, and I have a pretty big filter on them because I get a lot of spam. So, uh, yeah, check. Send it again, brother. Uh, sounds like something getting loaded. Yeah, I'm getting unloaded. Uh, I have, like, three-foot round paper rolls, but they're, like, three feet tall, too. Man, I'm never coming to Connecticut again, man. I don't know why they did that tax on the fuel. It sucks because I did take some Massachusetts loads before. But now they're doing the same kind of thing as Oregon, New Mexico and stuff, having a, a road tax. It's, it's, it's crazy. Thanks a lot, Diesel. Good seeing you in here, man. Hope you're, everything's good, though. Uh, Highlander, what's going on? Joe Walker, tap the light. Thanks a lot, Joe. Mac, that's it. Adjust the temp on the water heater. Yeah, because it's it's super hot water. If you turn the water heater on for a little, or the faucet on for a little bit, very hot water. So I'm sure that's probably it. So thanks, guys. You guys are always, probably should put some fans past that and get some heat in the house because that heat pump, when it gets like below 40 degrees outside, it does not work very good. So I'm going to figure out something else. I guess there's some heat strips you can put in there that you can do like emergency heat or whatever. I don't know. But I'm going to have to have a guy come out and say, we need to make this doable for the winter or get a furnace in there or something. I don't know what we're going to do. About 17 cents per mile road tech. Yeah, like we got dollar a mile fuel going on. Now you're going to hit a 17 cents a mile. Like you, good luck getting stuff delivered out there. And the rates and the rates don't uh, adjust for that. They don't make them any higher. Like. If you want anything going past Connecticut, up into New Hampshire, uh, Maine, or Massachusetts, you better be getting a premium. Yeah, Daniel, heat pumps I'm coming to realize do suck, <laughs> unless it's moderately cold outside. <laughs> it's not really uh, worth it. So um, I've noticed that. I didn't know anything about that till 
till recently. Have the HVAC guy come out? Yeah. It also was making kind of a hissy noise, um, so I don't know if it was um, needs to be serviced or have more Freon. But I need a guy to come out. I want to install that uh, Wi-Fi thermostat also so we can kind of control it from our house. Um, if we're going to get there, we can kind of turn it up. Heat pumps suck. They're trying to sell them through everybody. What happens is it gets colder. 20 degrees, 30 degrees, emergency heat kicks on, and you basically have a resistor plate. Ugh, that's so... <laughs> rather have a furnace. We get some, some gas out there and put a a propane tank out there. I don't know what we're going to do. But we are going to eventually get rid of that whole trailer and build a nice bar dominium out there. That's the plan. I have a shop, uh, a couple 14-foot doors for some trucks. That is the future. But um, right now with this economy, that's on hold till, till things change. Giving me as much heat as the 3-kilowatt fan heater with an outside of negative 7. Yeah. Might as well just have some space heaters in your house. Like wherever room you're in, put a space heater in there. We rented a house that had a great uh, heat pump and uh, one bad winter and one year got in the single digits and the emergency heat kicked on and uh, ran the whole time. Six, $700 electric bill. <laughs> I read it put a fire pit in the middle of the house or a trash can. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, heat pumps are not uh, ideal for cold climates. Maybe Florida or other places, but it does get cold at that lake. It gets, it, we'll get a couple of uh, in the teens this, this winter, I'm sure. I don't know how close it is to being done, but uh, we're almost there. Uh, and it costs a lot less. Yeah, propane. I'm thinking just get a big propane thing out there. Yeah, heat pumps are terrible because of that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not the only one who thinks that was a very inefficient way to, to heat a house. <laughs> we'll get a pro big propane uh, tank out there and just have that filled and, and run some uh, a gas furnace or something out there when, in, the, in the winter. I don't know. Because we're not out there that much, but it would be nice to go out there and just cruise the boat out in that little bay. We, we kind of live on a little bay with a bridge. Do some fishing out there. If the boys are ever interested in that, I am not a good fisher, guys. I've I can't fish anything or catch anything, but I'm sure if I stay out there long enough, uh, I'll catch something. Who knows? Yeah, uh, there's a new video tonight. A um, little bit of maintenance on the trailer that I did today and was told that my load didn't exist when I got to the shipper this morning. And that, uh, after being scared and having to call JB Hunt, they said, oh, no, we found it. So, a little spoiler alert on that one. I'll probably do some clickbait and said that my load uh, didn't exist. I caught you? What do you mean you caught me? I caught you where? Everything's getting really expensive. Yeah, everything, everything. At least fuel for cars is coming down a little bit, fuel for trucks. It's the first time I've gotten under $4 a gallon in God knows when. Um, but everything, you go to the grocery store or you go to the, you get a drink and a slice of pizza at, at Raceway, it's $10, like everything. I have a heat pump and monthly bills are about two fifty. dollars man. You caught T-dubs, that's all you need. What did I catch her doing? T-dubs, get me a DM about the trailers, Wabash and Hyundai. There you go. Mine is 90. Get a York system. Okay, what is the York system? Is that propane? Friday and Saturday going to be in the teens. Yeah, Daniel, I've heard that we're going to be pretty cold in the 18s too. Load don't exist, especially when it's left on another truck. Yeah, <laughs> T-Bona. I've had that happen too. Oh, yeah, that already got picked up. Like, uh, well, it's supposed to be my load. $200 on the groceries and it wasn't even ton. Yeah, well, you'll go out and get the essential milk and stuff you need and it's like 160 you're like, oh, man. Get some batteries are like $11 for eight double A's. I'm like, wow. There you go, Orlando, finally below four. Yeah, um, my QTs that I usually go to are still like 429, 425. But that mud flap card, man, that thing got me 393 last night. 350 for loaf of bread, man. York is a, just a furnace brand, run both propane or natural, awesome. Yeah, so I'll talk to the HVAC guy and say, what can we to change up here <laughs> to go ahead and get a furnace with some propane tank out here, man, or something. Five bucks for loaf of bread. Electric Amish fireplace, there you go. Snow out here in Utah. Uh, I watch a guy on YouTube, anti-DOI HVAC business, Ted Cook. He's out of Greenville, okay. There you go. I was in earlier today, um, Robert Pitts, um, they call him Rabbit. He's in Greenville also. He's uh, he's part of the VinWiki kind of stream that they did for a while, but now he has his own stream. He actually went live today, and I was talking to him a little bit, like, hey, man, I love your show. I watch you all the time, and um, I'm also in Greenville. He's like, what's up, Greenville? So that's pretty cool. Negative 11 or 19 in Minnesota. Ugh. Yeah, propane does sound like the way to go. Uh, if you want to consider ceramic room heater, Heats up four to square foot. There you go. So is that just plugs into your power? What's up, big hands? About to be blizzard in Chicago, man. White Christmas for everybody. Coming up.
T Dub said it rained or it snowed today in Greenville, but that might have been like little spots, maybe like Paris Mountain area. Uh, T Dub's, I don't understand what you're saying. What did I catch you doing? Redneck Rail fan, what's going on, man? No worries, brother. You're not late. You're just fashionably on time. Do not use my flight. We'll send you uh, to cheap old gas. That's what I asked them yesterday. I said, but they said they've been getting work through there. And I asked them if their diesel was guaranteed and if uh, the tanks were maintained. They said it has to be. So I said, okay. But it saves. I'm a cat. Oh, you are a catch, babe. Definitely. You're the best thing that ever happened in my life, babe. You know that. You gave me three little crazy sons, three healthy babies. I'm forever indebted to you for going through those labors because I was there with you and it didn't look fun. Uh, I'm not far from Greenville. There you go. You can catch a fish, but you caught a good... <laughs> there you go. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Can I catch a fish, but I definitely caught the right woman. I caught uh, the one that compliments me, and uh, we're a pretty good team. So we raise our babies the best we can. 8.30 for diesel. My goodness. Challenge another person. We should like do Connect Four uh, through a live stream, like have two people on, and like you have to push mine where mine was and push yours where yours was. That'd be pretty fun. Just trying to say you get kicked your coverage with her. Uh, she's trying to say you out kicked your coverage. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, I mean, I was, I never thought I'd be married. Never thought I'd have kids. I was 35 years old and uh, tall blonde came into my life and I said, okay. She's a pretty girl, she's nice. And we just kind of jived on the texting, like our personalities fit each other. Then met in person and we were like, she was at a point in her life where not that it was stagnant or like the, what, what was the future going to hold kind of thing was for me. It's like, what, what am I going to do? Be a 60 year old guy with no kids, just traveling and having friends. Sure. Sounds fun. But I wanted like kind of a meeting. I wanted offspring. I wanted kids. So I didn't think I ever wanted it. But at that point in life, I started wanting them and all my siblings were having kids. So I was the last one to the party for having kids, but T Debs and I uh, made that happen. So that's a little bit about us. Mudflap will hack your account. I'm not sure about that. You can pretty much keep track of your, uh, your uh, credit card payments, so I don't know. Safford, Arizona, what's going on, Ray? I love Safford, man. I don't think uh, Mudflap hacks your account, though. I've never heard one thing bad from uh, DIY Semi, and I trust him with everything. He's a very knowledgeable person. Diesel is 823, always fill the tanks of the yard. What? Dang. Six-year-old. Sorry, guys, comments going on. I'm near that age. It's grandkids for Xmas. Yeah, so Doc Holiday, what's going on? Or yeah, I stay away from home until I'm not sick. I'm pretty good immune system. I don't know. I don't get when I do get sick, I get really sick, but I can pretty much handle it all. Well, Georgia, there's Robert Pitts from Georgia. I won two games the other day. Two games of what? Guys, they're geese. They're looking for me. They went over the over the hill. Yikes. No more babies. No, I, just, uh, I don't have. I don't have any more fuel in the tank. Uh. Fuel is really cheap. We oh my god, the comments come on now. Oh my god, geese. Yeah, exactly. They're back. <laughs> They're coming for me. Uh, unloaded fuel is really cheap. We always fill the tanks up. Yeah. Daniel, no geese. No, no. Oh, two games of Uno. Who did you play the neighbors last night? Did you win? You won like three games in a row when you were playing with us before I left. I'm 63 with it. Uh, yeah, well, diesel. There you go. Henry G, geese. But that's a blessing, man. You had another son, and that's awesome. Not me. I'm content with Uncle Life. Yeah, big hands. That's how I thought I would be too. <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I guess seeing my, my siblings have kids, I was kind of like, eh. Louisville, what's going on? Any plans to have? No, I can't. I can't have any more kids if that makes sense to you guys. No more kids. <laughs> Practicing, yeah. We No, when we played. Okay, yeah, T-Dubs. T-Dubs was, and it was like hard, not hard wins, but like coincidental wins. Like she had a blue two. And the person in front of her, our neighbor, put down a, like a red two, and then she's like, "Bam!" I'm like, "Uh." Oh. The only time I won, I had a, I had two wilds and a draw four wild. That was my last three cards. So it was like I couldn't lose unless somebody else hit me with a draw four, and they kept changing the color, and I kept changing the color, and then the last card was. That's the only way I won. Trails been doing great, man. MC Josh, thanks a lot. Thirty-six year old uh, sis sig other. There you go. There you go, Chuck. I'm. 42, T-Dubs is, I don't want to say T-Dubs age, T-Dubs is 29. Shut off your water, drain the pipes, and deal with deal with the furnace in the summer. There you go, Tom. But yeah, that's what I'm, I don't know where my water main is. I didn't want to go in the crawl space last time I was there. 
can't believe he's still unloading me, but at least he's unloading me. Um, but I got to figure out where the water main is because the water bill is still, yeah, <clears throat> the water bill is like 60 bucks too at that house. Uno is the best game. It's a good game. You don't think you'd like it that much until you start playing. And we used to play where you would pull a card until you got a card that was the color that you needed. Like if it was blue and you had no blue in your hand and you kept pulling green or yellow, you just kept pulling uh, cards. And then one of our friends that we were playing with, not our neighbors, but they're like, no, yeah, you just pull one card. And if you don't get the color, you can just skip. And that makes way more sense. It makes it go way quicker. Because we would have like half the deck in our hands. We'd have like 40 cards because we couldn't get the right color. <laughs> What's up, Robert? How you doing? Hot tea with lemon. Uh, T-Dubs loves uh, Theraflu. That's her go-to when she gets sick. Makes her get up pretty good. But yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. 60 degrees in Jacksonville, and we're just hanging out with you guys. You should try Uno Attack. Uh-oh, don't even get it started. Another one, huh? I'm going to do that. Don't have lemon. Yeah, she. we have local honey also. Best shot before it's last minute. I got all of Jesse's fits already, and they're hidden somewhere because I got There you go. The stacks need some lighting to match. I was talking about today's video. Freddy, Freddy, 10 4. I was talking about today. And what's up, Ray? Today's video, the chat just all of a sudden freaks out and goes at like a bunch of them. Um, Daniel, I'm in Jacksonville. Um, the antennas, the whips, they call them for the CB. Um, I've been looking. I don't know if you guys have had any luck with this, but like an RGB, of course, I like colors. I want to be able to change them to the orange right there or like white, red, whatever color. Probably just orange or red because I don't want to have them green or yellow or whatever other color because it won't match the truck because my other ones don't check. Elderberry syrup? Yeah, elderberry, she has that too. She has like gummies. Augusta, what's up, Dirt Road? Uh, we, uh, Vic, Vic uh, rub is like my go-to. Whenever the kids are sick or like are stopped up, I rub that stuff on them. Like I think T-Dub sometimes forgets about it and I'll make T-Dubs hit them with the vapor rub. because And then we have like a vapor machine. Uh, you put water in it like it uh, humif humidifies the air with the vapor rub stuff. So that really helps them the next morning feel better, I think. Send a pic of, uh, I don't know, send a pic of it on here. I don't know, Daniel, what you're talking about. Pie face game. Yeah, they have the pirate game where you put swords in the pirate and then whoever hits it wrong, the pirate pops off. <laughs> they play that game a lot. They have trouble. They played Candyland the other day. And they're pretty good at it. They don't cheat or nothing. They're, Jamel, what's going on? Need a hot toddy whiskey. There you go, hot toddy. Not for kids, no. <laughs> Can't beat the Vicks. Yeah, that vapor rub, it really opens you up. Now, Robert, no drone footage. Earlier when I was picking up, um, F-16s were flying over me. I couldn't catch one of them taking off. It was really cool, but there was like eight of them that took off. Uh, you could hear it through the um, windows. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I thought that was somebody like moving my truck. I heard the tires. Oof. Rub it on the bottom of their feet. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't, you'd think that wouldn't work. Bill Stoops, what's going on? Fan show YouTube best friend, buddy. There you go. Pick of the syrup. Okay. Just uh, email it to, you know my number, Daniel. You got my text. Just text it to me. What's up, Trucker Jay? How you doing, man? Yeah, happy holidays to you guys, too. We are blessed to get, this load was supposed to deliver at 10 a.m. or 10 a.m. tomorrow, and I showed up here at 3 o'clock. He said, get in door two. I said, awesome. But the reviews did say that. It did say that they uh, unloaded early. Was it a scramble? Did they take? Um, yeah, it was um, within a 10 minute period. So like 10, 15 minutes, they were kept going. And I couldn't really tell where they were coming from. And then I got out of the truck and I saw one go right over. I was like, okay, so they're coming from right there. And I tried to catch one more, but uh, they were done. That was the last one. Rub fix on their feet, chest, put a shirt on, socks, and have them sleeping it all night. I didn't, well, I didn't know the whole feet trick, baby. You ever heard of the feet trick? Wasabi will open everything up. Yes, <laughs> will. Nip on whiskey when you're home and it's cold. There you go. Just my got my little guy from school. There you go, Bill Stoops. He's not out of uh, school yet. David Dishman, what's going on? I didn't know the feet worked. What's up, Naptown? How you doing? We are almost done, I think, because you guys have been on here with me, and he started unloading before we got on here. You too, Stephen Mims. Merry Christmas, man. The feet works great. Okay, T-Dubs, we got to do that. Start doing the feet thing. Feet works. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, I have. Oh, I didn't know you ever did it on their feet, babe. I've never seen it. But our kids hate socks. Oh, they do hate socks. Yes, they don't. They don't like it unless we're going somewhere fun. Uh, Merry Christmas. You too, Chris. 
Thanks. It is a beautiful truck. <laughs> That's the the guy that um is unloading us right now. When I pulled up, he's like, "If you weren't sitting in that truck, I'd be stealing that thing." I'm like, "Thanks, man." I was like, "It's my my dream truck." Before I even knew anything about trucks, so I do want to get the lights right in front of the air cleaner. I don't know if I have to get rid of that little uh, thing or what, but there's lights that go in front of the air cleaner, or maybe they go on the air cleaner. And then I want to get the whips to be LED. So that's the only next thing I'll be doing for a while. Uh, and then I have to polish everything. Still got to polish stuff. I actually watched Nick get his, uh, Nick Velox 18, get his truck polished. And I saw how they did it. I'm like, that's easy. I just have to have the stuff. I've never done it. So, I mean, I've polished bolts, but I actually have to get that little uh, angle grinder kind of thing. Shout out to the kid from New Orleans. What's up? What's up, the kid? How you doing, man? Vix on the feet works well. School remedy that you use in the UK. There you go. Got my regiments and supplements to keep quite healthy. There you go, Angry Yank. Email sent. Number plus, bud. There you go. Thanks a lot, Diesel. Mustard plaster. What? White onion peel on the bottom of the feet. Wrap it works. Okay. You're welcome, the kid. <laughs> Thanks for coming in here, man. We're almost done getting unloaded. Uh, one steering wheel, brother. What do you call the things? Uh, Barry Thompson. They are what did they call them, man? I just typed in like steering wheel cover, um, and it's like 15 bucks on Amazon and eBay. And they go on the sides. Like there was, if you type in carbon fiber, they're probably gonna pop up because that was like the most of them. It took me a while to find a white one to match the truck. But they have like blue, red, and carbon fiber everywhere. But if you have a white truck, then you can get that. Saw a guy truck like that vitamin d helps you we do have vitamin d it looked good thanks a lot daniel I like to walk barefoot all the time yes i like to walk barefoot too lights bring those trucks yeah they do daniel they really do especially at nighttime it's just sitting there and you're walking up on it it has the lights on the bottom and the lights and the headlights thanks to diesel um it does look cool i like it the volvo looks cool too and especially after i got like the dlr headlights in the volvo but that looks really cool just looks like classic trucking doesn't get great fuel mileage though. Don't, don't let it fool you and does not turn very good. Pull the toxins out of your blood, onions on your feet. That's awesome. I've, I've heard about this kind of stuff, but I, I'm not a, I'm not a remedy person, I guess. I don't, it's just T-dubs the avenue right now. I need some of my 2022 charger. There you go. Get z -Pack. Yeah, I think she has a couple of z -Pack. I don't know what she's got, but she's got all kinds of vitamins. <laughs> You're welcome, cage brake chambers. Uh, Busman, that's be careful with it. There's a really high power spring, but that little diaphragm in there can go bad. And sometimes you don't need everything replaced. You just need that new cage structure and the diaphragm, which is actually like 30 bucks. They're back, guys. I can hear them. I can hear, uh oh. They've got two friends. Oh my goodness. Keep going. Go towards the water. Need that door to open soon, yeah. Garlic is great too, there you go. I'm busy, how you doing? There you go, thanks man. Sorry, just talking to people on the internet. <laughs> thanks for taking me a day early, man, I appreciate it. Get back for Christmas, have a good Christmas. All right, guys. We got our papers. If you're a trucker, you are super excited about that kind of stuff. Oh, we gotta take our wheel chalk out. Da -da -da. Mike, I don't know where I'm eating dinner. Last night I had Applebee's. Maybe tonight I'll go, I don't know, Mexican? Who knows? There's lots of good seafood down here too. Come on out. There you go. Geese attack. <laughs> the geese love Justin. I don't know why. <laughs> but God bless you guys. Thanks for ch chiming in with me and chopping it up for a little bit. I'm going to fire this thing up, get back on Truck Smarter, get on the load boards. Pray for all you guys. Have a great Christmas. We'll probably go live. I don't know, Christmas Eve, maybe on T-Dub's channel because we make cookies. Um, but we're going to have family time like you guys are too. So got our bills. It's awesome. We submit that to Truck Smarter and uh, look for a load back of that way. On that note, God bless you. And I'll see you guys on the next one.